Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have four point K, energy in the system. Here you can read the scenario to yourself. In each question, you are going to fill in the sentence, graph it, then explain how you formulate your answer. All right. So the car is traveling downhill while the driver presses the gas pedal. The car is traveling downhill. When it comes downhill, it will convert all the gravitational energy into kinetic energy as it moves down the hill because the delta H is getting smaller. Next, the press the gas pedal part will convert the chemical energy in the gasoline. They're going to burn that. So the chemical energy is going to be transformed into kinetic energy as the gas pedal is pressed. The reason for there to be chemical potential energy still at the end is because there's still gasoline in the car. The gank, the tank isn't empty. In the end, the kinetic energy of the car at the end is made up of both the energy from the converted chemical and the gravitational kinetic energy. So let's take a look on how it should look like. So at the start, it had a bunch of chemical energy like this high. And now we know that it got burnt a little bit. So this much that it got burnt, okay, was moved into kinetic. So let's increase kinetic to reflect that. So it was, you see how I have it matched up ident. Okay. So that is how much it's going to be increasing by. Then we know that at the start there was gravity potential. It was this much. Right now it's going to get completely removed and it's going to go to all kinetic. So it should be like this. All right. Boom. There you go. So the kinetic energy at the end is a combination of both the chemical and the gravitational potential. So we can write here that the mechanical energy of only the car is increasing and then why the mechanical energy of the car earth system is also increasing as well Now you might ask, wait, what is the difference of the mechanism, the me mechanical energy of the only the car? Well, the mechanical energy of the car is only this part, right? This would be the mechanical energy of only the car. Oh, actually that's wrong. There should be no gravity here. Okay. Because gravity's the car doesn't exert gravitational potential, right? This is the mechanical energy of only of the car. Now, if you want to know the mechanical energy of the car earth system, because there's earth in there, now you could have kinetic and gravitational, right? So these are the two difference between the two. Okay. Part C. The car is traveling uphill while the driver presses neither the pedals. In this process, we know that the car is traveling uphill. When it goes uphill, it will convert the kinetic energy into potential because there's a delta H, a height of positive value that is increased. Also, when it says 
neither pressing either pedal. That means there's no change in the chemical energy because no gas was burned. They're not pressing on the gas button and they're not also pressing on the brake. So there's no thermal that was snooze. So the gasoline in the car right now is this much. If you do not press on the gas pedal, it's still this much. Nothing happened to it. It says we'll convert to, um, kinetic energy because it's going to go uphill. So the only way it can go uphill is with kinetic energy. So there is kinetic energy at the start. All this kinetic energy that it has, in the end, it's all going to be potential because there is a height that is gained. So what is happening is all the kinetic energy is being put into gravitational potential. That's it. So we can write the mechanical energy of only the car. So this is the one that we are looking at. We are looking at this. So this is the mechanical energy of only the car would be this part. Kinetic energy. This was the initial, then this was the final. And we saw that from, he from the initial to the final, you can tell that the mechanical energy of the car only will decrease. And then it says why the mechanical energy of only the car earth system is what? Okay, so now we want to look at the car earth system. Car earth system. The car earth system is made up of kinetic and gravitational, right? So that was the initial, that was the final. Notice that the energy here doesn't increase or decrease. It stays the same. It just got transferred, transformed. The kinetic energy just got transferred or transformed into gravitational potential. So here you can write that the energy of only the car earth system is constant. Let's look at part C. The mechanical energy of only the car is constant and the mechanical energy of only the car earth system is decreasing. The car is, is traveling on the road. All right. It gets a little bit tricky now. The first part. When it says the mechanical energy of only the car earth system is decreasing, that means that gravitational energy has to be decreasing and it's going to go into thermal. Therefore, the car is actually going downhill while pressing on the brake. So let's take a look at that mechanical energy of the car earth system. So let's see, there is some thermal in the end because let's see the mechanical energy of the car earth system is constant the mechanical energy of the car earth system is decreasing so in the end let's say here the kinetic energy starts let's make this the kinetic energy at the start okay and then the kinetic energy stays the same but now, this would be the gravitational potential. But now it's going to be slightly smaller. And the reason why it's slightly smaller is because this was the gravitational potential that got moved here to thermal. So this is when the car is gonna go downhill, it's gonna be pressing on the brake. It loses gravitational potential and it gets converted to thermal. All right. As well as 
when it says the mechanical energy of only the car is constant. The mechanical energy of only the car is constant. So it says only the car is constant. That means this kinetic energy has to be the same as this kinetic energy. That's what it means. Okay. When it says the mechanical energy of the car of the right here, mechanical energy of the car earth system. When it says that it decreases, what that means is that the car earth system is decreasing. So that means this was the initial and it has to decrease. So this is how it would look like. All right. This is the decrease in the car earth system, but car alone stays constant. So that's why thermal had to be increased. Now, what about the chemical? Well, the chemical is just the gas of the car, right? No, um, the person was just applying the brakes. The person isn't pressing on any of the um, gas pedal. So you can put it right here. It doesn't matter. If you want to put it a lot, right, it would just be a lot, or you can put it like it has little gas. It doesn't really matter. Okay. The gas of the car shouldn't matter. Right. So I'm going to put like it has a lot of gas. So it's also going to have a lot of gas at the end as well. Good. There you go. But these are the only changes that occur. Next. Oh, let's fill this in. So is the car going uphill or downhill? Well, look at the gravitational potential. The gravitational potential is decreasing. So if it's decreasing, the only for that to be possible is for it to go downhill. And the driver is pressing on the what? Hold on. Downhill. And the driver is pressing on the, well, the thermal increase, so the driver had to be pressing on the brakes. Okay, it's not the gasoline because the chemical stays the same. Next part, the mechanical energy of only the car is decreasing and the mechanical energy of only the car earth system is increasing. Let's dissect each one of this. So when it says the mechanical energy of only the car is decreasing, that means the kinetic energy will have to decrease because that is the only mechanical part of the car. Next, when it says the mechanical energy of the car earth system, right, car earth is kinetic and gravity is increasing, that means Gravitation has to increase because kinetic was constant from the first part. Next, the only way for chemical energy of the car earth system to increase is to get it from the chemical energy of the car, which means gasoline is burned. So chem the chemical energy is going to decrease and that's going to go into gravity. Also, in the end, both the chemical and kinetic energy of the only car will decrease completely and it's going to be converted into gravitational potential. An increase in gravitational potential can only occur when the car gains height. Therefore, you could say that it's going uphill. So let's do this. Let's graph it because I was just analyzing the words. So. It says the mechanical energy of the car is decreasing. So here we could graph it like this. Uh, let's make it a little bigger. Let's say it's going super fast, All right? Now let's make it super small because this means the mechanical energy of only the car is decreasing. All right. Now it says the mechanical energy of the car earth system is increasing. Well, for it to increase, the only thing now is gravity. So we have to go, let's say it starts um, from here 
into here. Okay, this is the mechanical energy of the car Earth system. Notice it is increasing. It means there's a gravitational energy that is being increased. Gravitational potential energy is increasing in the system. The only way gravi gravitational potential energy can increase, right, in this system, the mechanical energy of only the car is decreasing. Meaning the kinetic energy will decrease. Yep. Oh, so let's say, so the kinetic, this part of the kinetic right here, if I chop this up right here, if I chop this off, if I chop this off, Okay, was removed to here. That's what happened, All right? But also there's more. It says the only way for mechanical energy of the car earth system to increase is that it has to come from an external um, source. The extra external force will be chemical. So let's say it starts from here and we saw that it decreases. So let's say it got this much now, right? That much that it's getting will be decreased from chemical. So it looks something like this roughly. All right. So notice, let's go over the each part here. All right. The mechanical energy of the car only is decreasing the mechanical energy of the car only so here that's what this means so here we'll go here so this is the mechanical energy of car only all right notice it will decrease good so that's the first part then it says the mechanical energy of the car earth system is increasing. So this, hold on. So this is what this means of the car in. So that is only the car is decreasing. The next, it says the car earth system is increasing. So that means this has to increase. So it should look something like this in the end. See how there's an increase in the car earth system. Now, the only for this to occur is that it has to come from an outside source. That outside source is going to be the chemical. So this system is getting from an outside source, which is the burning of the chemical, right? Which is the burning of the gasoline. Boom. Okay. So now we could say, is this going up or uphill or downhill? Well, look at the gravitational potential. It's increasing. So there you can say it is going uphill. And that's only possible because chemical is being burned and that is only possible because it's passing on the the gas petal 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 right and there you go hopefully here it gives you an understanding of how to look at each system individually and see it all right good good and good all right, there you go.